Hi, I welcome you all to the session on validating personal area and personal survey rule. In the last few sessions, what we have done, uh, we have created the company code. Uh, we are also discussing about that uh, personal area and personal sub area. So we have also created some of the personal areas like uh, Mumbai. Mumbai has a code like AMU99 and Delhi has a code DL99. Bangalore has a code BL99 and Hyderabad has a code like HY99. So these as we have discussed that comp company code is created by a FICO consultant but for our own understanding we have created and personal areas and personal sub areas are created by HCM consultant. So after creation of all these what we need to do that personal areas have to be assigned to company code and also personal sub areas have to be assigned to uh, the uh, locations or personal areas. So we have done all the things but another important thing that we have to bear in mind that that we need to validate this personal area and personal sub area. So how to do this? Let us see. So, so I have already logged in, logged in. So we have to go for this SPRO. Okay. So in SPRO, we can go for this referencing. Okay. So then we have to go for enterprise structure because all these things that we have been discussing that is a part these are parts of enterprise structure like company uh, company code and uh, personal area and personal sub area we have been discussing let us click on this then we can go uh, look for assignments then because this uh, that uh, personal area and uh, personal sub areas fall under uh, HCM or HRM that we have to click on this then here we have one options like that validating or validity period for uh, like assignments uh, uh, assignment of sub area of uh, 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 this uh, company code and assign employee subgroup to employee group we have done in the previous sessions then here there is one options that is called validity period for organization assignments so we can check it so there are some of the options so here we have been given one options define validity period for personal areas we have to execute it so then uh, there are some entries are already there but we have to go for new entries so uh, here we have to remember the codes so what are the areas that we have uh, created we have created like DL99. So here we have to like uh, we can write like 01 01 2022 valid up to 31st 12 by default. This is normally. Uh, uh, taken okay. then we can uh, go for Mumbai MU99 okay. so here we can go for this like same thing 01 01 2022 okay. then we have to also do the same thing 31 12 9999 then another uh, area that we have created like Bangalore BL99 okay. then we have to go for 01 01 2022 this is that thing so Bangalore also like 01 01 2022 same here also 31 12 so another uh, personal area we have also created hyderabad hy99 so uh, 01 01 2022 to 
value is up to 31st 12 this is the maximum date that we can validate then we can go for save ok so at the, at the time of uh, savings uh, we will get this uh, that is transfer request tr number is generated ok we can go for uh, this we can continue with this or if we, we want we can create another request number also ok so let us uh, stick to this and continue ok this is a table number you can see that view maintenance data this is the table reference number as we know that that the data that uh, at the time of configurations the data that we give as input these data are stored in the form of a table this is the table reference number this is a transfer request number and this is a short description of what yeah we are doing okay so let me also remind that this transfer request number is we can call this this is the file name so now all these have been created assigned successfully we can see the, what is the message popped up assigned personal uh, sub areas are adjusted see long test so by default personal areas uh, are uh, have come up okay so then we can go for that uh, personal sub areas we can go back so here we have one options here like uh, mumbai sorry define validity period for personal sub areas we can click on this so here uh, once we click on this execute button then mu99 came okay. so let us start with this mu99 so these are the uh, uh, mu99 we can see and uh, we have done already actually okay. these have been done so we can assign this i have already done this earlier so like we have to click here okay. and uh, we have to describe by default it is coming once so this is the date start date and end date okay. so similarly we can make entries here like fi99 hr99 mk99 rd99 and we can also validate like this okay so we can check this uh, we can do, do practice like this so let us go back so this is for a uh, mumbai uh, region then we can go back if we can see for take for example dl dl 99 let us see okay so this is also done so in delhi regions there are the three uh, personal sub areas so these are the make entries which i have already been done so HR99 and we can make entries here ok so this is the starting day and this is the ending date ok so this is SL99 for sales this is a new department we have done so we can go back so there is a another regions like BL99 Bangalore B for Bangalore BL99 Let us say Bangalore, it is these are also assigned. Personal areas have been assigned to this is the personal area, this is the personal save area. Okay. These are assigned. Uh, just now we have just assigned for personal uh, area, this is appearing here. We can go back one second, we can see for Hyderabad zone. So, uh, Hyderabad uh, the code is SY. 99 okay so hy99 there are two personal save areas okay. we have done all these things okay. so this is how actually that we can assign we can we can validate the personal area and personal areas so this validation is required uh, this personal this validation is required okay so we have discussed this uh, as part of the course this we have validated personal areas and personal sub areas thank you very much